This undrafted free agent has been performing so well that head coach Dan Quinn had to give him a shout out. And I'm more than certain that he has a high chance of making this 53 man roster. Let's talk about it. Off field? Left. What I want? Get back so I love the way she I love the way she move it, move it, shake it all oh, day When she fly for him, the shawty is the winner You can tell that shawty love with Ken I, she's confident I love the way she move it Follow me on Twitch at ChewyIRL as that's where I will be live streaming the games anytime the Washington Commanders play. I streamed the game yesterday versus the New York Jets and I know some people probably was like, Juan, where are you at? I'm over on Twitch. So go ahead and give me a follow. And then secondly, join the Discord server as I finally got one up and running and we already got a couple people in here. It's going to be a place where you can have fun and be your authentic self. Enjoy the rest of the video. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, we're coming on here with the video where we're going to be talking about this specific undrafted free agent who has been impressing head coach Dan Quinn. And I think he has a strong chance to make the 53 man roster. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. One road to 8,000 subscribers, so it'd be greatly appreciated if you haven't reached that goal as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So, this past weekend, we got to finally see the new Washington Commanders, led by Jaden Daniels, new head coach Dan Quinn, new offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury, new defensive coordinator Joe Witt Jr. We finally got to see the first look at him. And although the starters only played a uh, drive, they were really good in that drive, and it was a touchdown score drive. However, as we got deeper into the preseason game, you start to see some of the backups that's been talking about um, in training camp. So specifically, this backup, this Andre the Free Agent stood out to me. His name is Michael Wiley. See, going into this season, I felt like the Washington Commanders were going to keep three running backs, and I thought it was... Austin Eckler, Brian Robinson, and Chris Rodriguez. I just totally stuck Chris Rodriguez right there and said he's making this roster. Like, I made it abundantly clear that he's the guy that's going to be here, that's going to be that third back. But after the performance that I've seen from Michael Wiley and even Mick Nicholson, he does not have to make this roster. I honestly am intrigued by Michael Wiley. I want to see more of him. I want to see if he's a guy that could potentially make this roster if he continues to have a strong preseason. He's fast, he has good size on him, has his ability to run through a tackle if he needs to be. He has it all. And Dan Quinn was so impressed by his performance that he went out his way to now announce him as one of the guys that stood out. He only named a couple guys, or like two, three guys he named. Him, Tyler Owens, and Ben Sinat was the guys that he went out his way to add, uh, to say did uh, did really good. He could have said anybody else that did really good. Could have been Jay Daniels. Could have been uh, you know, uh, somebody that like uh that that was um like a Frankie Louvre or somebody that that was already really good too. He could have went out his way to say that, but he took time to say Michael Wiley's name, and I think he has a strong opportunity to make this roster. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Because, again, the running back room is not something that is as solidified as far as the third back goes. I know the first two I've spoken for, but that third back, I just automatically gave it to Chris Rodriguez. And I don't necessarily think he has to make this roster. I saw Chris Rodriguez run in the game versus the Jets. He didn't really look good. Wasn't able to create no separation. Wasn't able to get any positive, you know, rushing yards. But Michael Wiley was able to get, uh, uh, I think he had like eight curries for 34 yards and a touchdown. So I definitely think Michael Wiley is a guy that could be in the running for that third running back spot um, behind Brian Robson and Austin Eckler. Uh, Mick Nichols also had a few good curries. Uh, but Chris Rodriguez is a guy that I just assumed he could blossom into something, but he didn't really do nothing that Saturday. And again, it's not necessarily like something that's, set in stone, right? Chris Rodriguez definitely could still go out there and get that third running back spot, but it's, I don't know. It's something to Michael Wiley that made me kind of open my eye to him. He's an undrafted free agent out of Arizona, so uh, we'll see, right? He also mentioned, like I said, Tyler Owens, another undrafted free agent of safety, a guy that's been lighting it up in training camp, had a really good special teams play. Um, And then Ben Sinner, the tight end, who I think, who I was really intrigued by this past draft. I said he has a position to be tight end one. 
Um, he kind of reminded me of 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 Kyle Juszczyk a little bit there in San Francisco. And uh, you look at Adam Peters' track record; they always have a good draft when it comes to finding a gem of a tight end, right? So we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Two more games. This is going to be interesting, but. Three backs it is for me. I don't think they're going to keep four. It's no point. Brown Robinson and Austin Eckler are already here. And then you just got to go ahead and figure out who's going to be that third down back. Now, someone last night on stream did make a good point. What about Kazmir Island? Uh, I think it was Abdullah who actually brought it up. What about Kaz Island as the third back? And I was kind of like, okay, that's interesting because he has potential to be that gadget guy, you know. That guy that could be in the backfield, that slot receiver if need be, or somebody that you just do trick plays with. He could be that guy for us, uh, but where, how would he make this roster? And I think it probably would be that third running back because we haven't had a, a COP change of pace back since J.D. McKissick, that third. We don't have a true third down back unless you want to throw Austin Eckler in there as a, you know, the receiving back, but he's a little bit out of his prime with that now. Michael Wiley is 5'10 and 209, so... He's kind of like a short bowling ball. Like, he's not big, but he's stocky strong. And he's able to run through tackles. It's going to be tough to bring him down. And even if he gets out, out in open space, he's able to create something with his legs and run away from the defenders. So I'm not necessarily saying he has to make this roster or even, in fact, he will make this roster. But I do feel like with that third running back spot, not having to go to Chris Rodriguez, who else is an opportunity to get right there? Because they they do have to keep three backs. It's not like they could just go with Brian, Brian, um, Brian Robinson and Austin Eckler because you plan on using both of those guys and you don't want nothing to happen and you don't be prepared. So I think out of all three of those guys, McNichols, uh, Wiley, uh, Chris Rodriguez, I am interested in Michael Wiley. I, I'll tell you that. Because Chris Rodriguez, he had, a, he had a fumbling issue last year in preseason. And not to say that that's going to hurt him um, this year. Maybe he worked on it this year. But I'm really not as hyped about Chris Rodriguez as I was last year. I was really hyped about him. And then he kind of let me down. Um, and he really didn't do anything much last year. So I don't necessarily think he has to make this roster. And I honestly don't even know if he will make this roster. I personally would lean more towards Michael Wiley. I want to take a quick pause into today's video and give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Seeky. Do you guys plan on going to a Commander's game or any live event coming up here? Well, SeatGeek is the place for you as they take tickets all across the internet and put them into one interface and rate them from green to red to let you know if you're getting a good deal or not. And right now, right now only, you can use my promo code WANGADI to get $20 off your first purchase today. Use it right now while you can because it is a limited time offer. And let's just say you already bought your tickets but you don't want to pay for parking. Well, you can use that $20 off on parking too. All right, back to the video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Michael Wiley, shout it out by Dan Quinn. Out of anybody on the roster, he took time out his day to shout out Michael Wiley, Ben Sennett, and Tyler Owens. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, me and Boy One. Gotti, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 8,000 subscribers. So I'd be greatly appreciated if you haven't reached that goal as soon as possible. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. All the links are down below in the description. Have a blessed one. Stay safe. Peace.